Oh, hey. This is what I get for trying to be cool. Just hanging out. I hate myself. Okay, for the last time, uh, I decided to make a video. I mean, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Listen. Okay, so um, I just hit 1,000 days on Duolingo the other day. And so I thought I would make a little update. Oh, I was supposed to be speaking in Spanish. Listen, okay, this will be a bilingual video. Okay, so yeah, I hit my 1,000 day mark on Duolingo which was very exciting. Although also a little anticlimactic because like, you know, when I started it and not only specifically Duolingo, but like studying in general, and it's been more than a thousand days since I've been studying Spanish and Italian and Japanese, which I gave up on and Tagalog and Chinese, which I just started again and Arabic, which I just started hopefully no more anytime soon, but it, it's it's been a while and so this like thousand day mark feels monumental and like nothing at the same time. And I say that because back when I like first started, like in 2020, when I decided, hey, I'm gonna actually, like if I wanna learn a language, I should like study them. And I like had that epiphany that like, oh, if you wanna do something, you have to do it whether it's learning the language or literally anything that you tell yourself that you'll get to eventually. Eventually sucks. Eventually keeps you in a permanent state of procrastination. Because when you have a goal, those undefined days will never come. You know, oh, Warden's here, by the way. Right, bud? Now say hi. Ward, say hi. Ward. He's sleeping. We just went on a long walk and he's tired. Oh, why did I do the killed? I, he's, he's not been murdered. He's alive. Yeah, so when I started, I just, I was thinking like by day a thousand, I would be fluent. And there's just this idea of fluency is just such a weird thing. Like, do I recognize a lot of words in Spanish? Yeah. Can I come up with a lot of those words myself? as well yeah can i like understand people at like a natural speed of speech kinda i feel like i still struggle too much for what i thought day 1000 would be i did record myself speaking some spanish on my walk so here's that hola está super soleado hoy pero decidí venir al parque Porque, bueno, sí, yo camino cada día, pero hoy decidí venir al parque por hacer este video en español y, bueno, uh, a ver. Pero sí, hoy es el día de un mil días, sí, en Duolingo. No he grabado un video de mi progreso en uh, uh, abeja um, progreso en mis uh, los idiomas hace un rato de todos modos tal vez puedo caminar y hablar todavía hago muchos errores y Déjame parar, caminar y hablar parece un mal idea. No puedo pensar. And I know a lot of people don't like Duolingo, and I get it. And I've like I've I've said these things before, but I do like it as like a part of my routine. One, because it just, it reminds me to like learn things. Like it feels like, you know, with the space repetition and stuff, there are still words that if, you know, like a month or two ago, I knew them. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh shoot, wait, how do you say to find out something? Wait, what is it? Oh, enterarse. Yeah. Woo. See what I mean? Okay. Wait, that's actually from Spanish dict. I love Spanish dict. But like apps in general and Duolingo especially because it's like the most widely known, I think, like they serve their purpose. It's not the only thing that I do to learn. And it's also, I've used Duolingo for probably like a year of that in Italian only. 
and then I switched back to Spanish on Duolingo maybe like a year ago or almost a year ago because I wanted to kind of like concentrate more of my studying on Spanish so I could kind of make progress a little quicker. Um, and, then I, I, and I also use HelloTalk, um, which is like, you know, you can talk to people around the world and practice. The people I talk to are practicing English, so we practice English and then we also practice Spanish. And then there is also a paid version where you can do multiple languages, but right now I, I just have um, Spanish speaking friends on there. Oh, I said one. One because that was number one. What's number two? I don't remember what number two was, honestly. Like, I could not tell you. If I think of it, I'll put it in the text while I'm editing. We'll see if I can think of it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about my gross, weird, some, what's that called? Tan lines. So, yeah, there's so much more that I want to learn. And I guess like my point in making this video is that if you just started learning a language, <laughs> didn't realize I was taking a ice shower. So if you just started learning a language, you're gonna be doing it for the rest of your life. Not the phone literally dropping on me in the shower. For me at least, especially because I think I was influenced by you know those like clickbait videos that people used to upload i don't think people really do it anymore maybe they do but the videos where they're like i learned spanish in seven days no you didn't okay wait here's the hack there's this app called libby and it's basically an app a free app that you connect with your library card so go on and get yourself a library card and you can borrow like language audio lessons. For example, I've been using Pimsleur to learn Tagalog and Mandarin, and it's amazing. Like, I remember when, oh yeah, I was in college. I bought like a Pimsleur uh, Mandarin like CD set, and I would like play it in my car. And I still remember stuff from that CD set, like years later. And so I had this epiphany. One, I found out about Libby, and then I was using it for just like regular audiobooks and stuff. And I was like, what if I like search Pimsleur? Will stuff, like, will they have it? And they did. So my life was forever enhanced is what I'm saying. The one downside is that you get to loan it out for 21 days and you have to like obviously wait if someone else has it, ha is, is borrowing it. And so sometimes the, the wait is like four weeks or whatever. But if you don't have a time, you know, crunch for whatever reason, um, it's free. So like, you know. Sorry, I'm getting slightly off track. But yeah, one of the downsides is one, you have to wait for to check out stuff if people haven't checked out already. And the other downside is that the courses are 30 courses and you're supposed to do like one a day and it's a half an hour each day. But you only get to loan it out for 21 days. So like right now I had to stop um, my Tagalog lessons on day 20. Two, and it says there's about a four week wait until I can get back into it. So that is a problem. However, I've been making so much progress that it's actually a little insane. And I knew this, like I knew, I knew that I liked Pimsleur. Like I knew that I liked how Pimsleur worked because of just the random things that I still know how to say in Chinese after all of these years. I'm like, okay, well, if that worked, why don't I just employ it again? You know, ah! too much work in a while. I should get some clothes. Oh no, not that. Okay, so I realize this is a very chaotic video. This fact is not lost on me. Oh, why did I do my hair before I put this shirt on? Let's try being a little smart, just a little, a touch smarter next time. I won't. You know what else would have been smart? If I just like laid out my clothes before I started recording. I mean, I didn't even know I was gonna do this today, you know? I did have it ri written down but I didn't trust myself. So I guess my point in this whole video is that the learning process is never ending. And a thousand days on Duolingo is great because it means I've been dedicated to the cause. And um, here's to a thousand more. Hopefully by the next thousand, I can actually understand Argentinians. I had sunscreen in my beard this whole time and you didn't tell me. Oh, I also forgot. I got to finish getting ready. Thank you so much for watching and thank you especially to everyone on Patreon. <gasps> Eyebrows! Also join the Discord. Okay, links in the description box. Bye! No lo hice. No, no hice.
de todos modos.